because he is on sin, you just want to pat it. But your pastor will not want to pat it. Your pastor will reprimand you, and your pastor will discipline you. So you are sinning physically. I will not give you general who just want to forgive because he's a father. He's a spirit. He never sees him. But, but yeah, you love him, but I, I will discipline you. I'm not going to handle those shit because I'm like, this is the time I serve you just for that. I don't care. You. You just come in. Okay? You and um, I do. Just look at it. You just look at it. Why? When I, I pass the message across, general announced three. And I pass the message across three to be here. And now I just press it just uh, five of the three. Because it just broke it. You're doing what? That's the idea of what? Two hours ago, you were told you're going to be here by stand. You stand, 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 stand. stand. After three is after three. It's a Correct yourself. What you want to say? So I heard that I was in the restroom. After two hours, you were told to be here by three. Excuses are <coughs> not what great people are known for. There is nothing like excuses in the archive of great people. It is either in or nothing. Because we've got some people who are here before three. That is how to program your life. Make a timetable of your life. And it's not when you are supposed to be here, that's when you're going to have the time to go into the restaurant. My dad, where did you told to be here before three? No, sir. What are you talking about? You said, no, sir, didn't the general pass the information across? Yeah, we should get ready. And what happened? What time were you going to start? So, what is the time right now? So, why are you here now? It's obvious most of you are not really serious. Listen to me. There is one thing to know some stuff, there is another thing to be subconscious with it. That thing, that subconsciousness, that is what's going to take you far. Listen to me. You have to start learning how to become subconscious over things. In other words, have you seen when you've not started doing the kind of thing, you don't feel good within yourself? That's being subconscious about some stuff. You gotta be time conscious. If you're not, see, there's no way you can be around it. The life is, is, is magnetic with time. The a life and journey towards a destiny is being, you know, configured with time. How would you feel you coming over here with started? And I say, you are not going to be part of it. Because it's going to happen the next time. Wait, sorry. It's repugnant to me. It's not because most of you have been saying sorry, sorry, so all the time. So it's not about sorry, it's all about understanding it. So the next time it doesn't happen again. Your medications will be coming later because, uh, but I know most of you are not feeling too good. They're going to get your stuff, alright? Your stuff. Is it stuff or stuff? Stop. 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 No S. Stop. 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 Raise your hand. Then it is, if it is staff, raise your hand. Yeah, no, 
then what makes S to come into stop? S C U double Yeah. So it is called stop. There is no S. Yes. It is stop. Well, you must understand the back ends. Don't just say no S. Why will there not be S? So explain. Yes. Because stop is one of those words that both the singular and plural form of one word. Because if stop is a compound word. Thank you, that's what I want to hear. Because it's a compound word. That's just the word. I was just, you were being about, it's just a compound word. Any compound word, there is no S. Simple, that's what I want to hear. The same thing with staff. Staff is a compound word. Alright? So, listen to me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Do you have any other people upstairs? No. We wait for what's big again, yeah, yeah, now. You guys don't know how to say something out here. I believe if you had seen me, you would have said it. So, I'm here. Simple. You just want to fight in the middle of the night. I don't like that but please listen to me, I don't like this. Bro, I don't really like this. Please, I don't like this. Over my two people, so I don't like this. Six. Thank you. Three ideas. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yesterday. Hello. Well, uh, my media personality is up for Paris. Yesterday is. Um, Presentation a lot of people just went out of the topic. A lot of the debaters went out of the topic. We're not talking about value, we're talking about potentials. What I was waiting to hear this night was potentials. We're talking about state actors better than screen actors, proposed and opposed. So we're talking about the potentials of a, of, of, of stage actor, of a stage actor, not the values or what you gain from the screen or not. We're talking about are they artistically good? Are stage actors artistically better than screen actors? That was what the question was all about. And also we were talking about the way I was really saying I don't want to say this out. I know the truth. I know who is better. I know who is better. Okay, and in our industry, everybody knows that state actors are 100 times better than skin actors. Yes. 100 million times better, better than screen actors. Because all state actors can be better screen actors, but not all screen actors can be good state actors. You know, don't get it. Uh, you know, all I hit were just points, not who. Uh, who who is right or wrong? I just needed points and convention. All right, I just needed convention. Um, uh, so, uh, but I think even those who propose or who oppose the motion that uh, state actors are better than screen actors, in other words, supporting that screen actors are better, I think they have better points. They have better points. But but I think uh, the stage actors here, yeah, you you have good points. Uh, but man, you want to break it down? Do you know what it is? To study and understand full script without a cut. No, it's not that line. That's not correct. Repeat. Do you know what it means? For two hours you on the stage and you're delivering your lines. Do you know what it is? If you know what it is, don't dare stay that. Don't ever dare. The ace leading Nollywood actors we have right now are all stage actors. Starting from RMD, stage actor. They were groomed from a stage. Olu Jacobs, Peter Dolce, all stage actors. Stage acting has a spiritual phenomenon that when it catches up with you, it is so crazy. Now, can I shock you? You know, most of you are saying that both the stage actors are running over to the movie industry so that they can get it. But it's a lie. Listen to me. Stage actors are proud people. 
to me them, to tell you that, they should they criticize our film industry, to tell you that the film people should come over to them. Because they understand a nitty gritty of actor, the deep expression. The only thing is that they exaggerate so that they can pass across to their audience. But, and as when they come into the screen, if, if you see a stage actor, you definitely know they want to overact. But it takes the director to now bring him down a little bit. I'm like, okay, there's a screen. I want you to calm down a little bit. All right? So, you, you like just like I said, Papa said, the director is the guard, the lord of, of, of the craft in a production. So, it depends on the director to say, okay, hey, guy, this is how I want you to take it. But I tell you, it is better to overact than to down act to be flat. But when you overact, you can be broken. But when you are flat, it's going to take a whole lot of drag you up. So stage actors are infallibly better than screen actors. Screen actors is just acting made easy. Screen actors. Screen acting is acting made easy. If you don't have a good projection, you can play on the screen, but you cannot play on the stage. Because stage is for professionals. In fact, they don't use screen to teach you how to act in theater art, in dramatic art in university. They use stage to grow you. Because they know once you pass through the rudiments of stage, you are a refined and crude actor. No one say crude actor, no dilution. But screen actors are diluted, man. So if I want to tell you, if you really want to be a good actor, start from the stage. Just like if you want to be a good driver, no, 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 no. stage is manual. Mm. Stage is manual. Look at you, look at the audience. If you make mistakes, they mess you up from the stage. So you have to be well equipped. But go to the studio, you see a lot of nonsense that Genevieve acted. You know, most of this stuff. You see nonsense, even some grammatical blunders. The editors that try to correct. You put your hands for the eye editors, man. Put your hands for that. <laughs> the editors will have you, they cover a lot of messes. Even most of you, all you acted, now you saw it, you're like, hey, I'll be still, I don't know. Go to the studio and see a lot of messes that were covered. The editors, they, they just, they had to. You know how to manipulate the whole thing. So all you see on the screen is just the end product of the creativity from the editors. Mm. Most of these stars, they make a lot of grammatical blunders, wrong expressions, and but they have to interplay a whole lot of stuff. For on the stage, you're a good lazy on the stage. No editor to cover you up. No director to cut you. No cinematographer to say, no, don't do like this, do like this. You're good, you show your stage. So stage actors, put your hands for stage actors all over the world. I respect the actors. I see actors. I've got my hands for them. Okay, now you are ready to present stuff, which is titled uh, How to Artistically Take Nollywood. Now let's put it filmmaking. We all know it's in Nollywood to the next level. In Nollywood, in Nollywood you have film filmmaker, but artistically, how to artistically take filmmaker to the next level. So the general put it Nollywood because it's only confessor. Mm -hmm. And it's in Nollywood you have filmmaker. The filmmaker in, in, in Nigeria is called Nollywood. Alright? So well, how do you take it artistically to the next level? Now I said something. If you want, before you present stuff, you must understand the difference and the definitions. Before you know how to amend stuff, you must know how it was made and what made it got dilapidated or what got it, you know, um, destroyed before you want to make it up. If anybody brings any stuff to you to make up, you must know the ingredients used in making it. You must know where it came from before you can think on how to make it up. So when we're talking about how to artistically take Nollywood to the next level, number one, that means there's a particular level that Nollywood really is that is not okay. Now the question will now be, what were those deficiencies of Nollywood artistically? Mm -hmm. Now don't do very far because yesterday night we debate a lot of diversion. Artistically, 
What are those deficiencies? Now, that is going to now make it okay. If you can do it like this, do it that way. You have your breakdown, and in each of your breakdowns, you've got your explanation. <coughs> I want to see intelligence. I want to see intelligent presentations today. Alright? Are we ready right now? Yes, sir. Why is that going to be right? Yes, sir. 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 Good. So, how about feel intelligent presentations for what you want to Okay? So, it's not about presenting, it's not about getting topic, it's all about there's an A, B, C every topic that is given. <coughs> Which is what? The accessibility to it, the biography of it, and the conclusion. So if you understand this three, whole presentation will be very easy. I start now. Yeah. You know a lot of fashion right now, people got it from actors, you know. The actors they see, oh I love to dress like that, I love to dress this. Actors are, are fashion experts, they are fashion oriented. Actors. That's the truth. Like I said as an actor, what comes on the back of your mind is a teacher. You are a teacher. So whatever you bring out your dispositions, how you look, you're trying to teach people, hey guys, why the world look like me? Because every actor is a mentor. Let a big star come in here right now. Whether you like it or not. Subconsciously or covertly or overtly. If the star is talking and I'm talking, all of you want to listen to the star. Two of us. Hey. Yes. It happens most times. You want to listen to the star. Why? Because he's got a great English. He's now a phenomenon. He's now a structure, a household name. So you are representing a star. You were selling, you you're still seeing yourself as ordinary. Well. You just... I don't want people coming over here and being casual. Now, hey, if you're looking casual, get out here and go look perfect. You are standing before the camera trying to tell the world who I'm you are. Lemon. 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 Come here and be casual. I give you, somebody will tell them, I give them just five minutes. I'm 
We have the rest of them come first. Say your truth. Those who are here, say your truth. Don't, I don't want you to be biased. When you see this three people, what comes into your mind? Hey, let's talk. When you just look at the walk up, if you, you don't know them before, but you just set your eyes on them, what comes to your mind? Hey, bring out your hands, man, because I love the blink. Because when you look at them, what comes to your mind? Huh? Good. She, is that artist? Is that engineer? Oh, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> yeah, but well. The pants wear this shoe. So what? The pants is wearing for this shoe. I don't think. You don't know what I want to do yet. No, it doesn't. It's not. You don't know what I want to do. You can't judge. You don't know what I want to do. Hello, she has to say something. Yeah, so I just, because it's very, like now, I have to, because I want to come with this. Okay, you you go stand. I'm seeing properly. Go there, go there. I'll see you properly right now. Okay, you go there. Now, let me tell you something. Start your style. Anybody can invent any style. Fashion is manly stuff. But sir, I feel this shoe has to cooperate because it's child, but I don't know. That's you. I felt it's that's something like what you're wearing now, and not the lace. That's you. It's his star. Okay. It's his star. <laughs> yeah. And if you become a star, you just have this one. Right you become a very celebrity you have this one. When Jemai came up with a three-quarter with a suit, you remember that? Yes. For a word. Yes. So it's like magic. Right now, so listen to me. I want when they say artists, they are out of this world. They are not just the usual people. So they don't dress the usual way. They, they dress in a certain way of attraction. Look at Michael Jackson. Amongst everybody, the reason Michael Jackson till death he's still collecting award till death he's still a, a structure of music industry. You see, his dress sense always different. No, do you really know Michael Jackson? Yes. yes. Said you look like you. I don't look like him. I look like Cyril Jackson, you know. So, you know, he appears always. Uh, black container. Just like a businessman. You're good, don't worry about what I'm trying to say. Let's be unique. See, actors are unique people. Another businessman. <laughs> This my picture what is it entertainment? In other words, you are even entertaining people with your dressing. Entertainment is a comparison. It's not just oh entertainment, let me just act. No 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 no. That's what that's the reason you see entertainers. They pierce here, pierce here, pierce here, pierce here, pierce here. Now look at it right here. They come on stage, a lot of people looking at them, they are looking at all their dress sense and the things around them. That means they're entertaining. Your looks, your dress sense, your intelligence, your presentation, everything. So when they say actors creep Africa, we're talking something. There's a message you're passing across. Uniqueness. You are not uniquely dressed. Yes, it is beautiful, but you are not uniquely dressed. 
nice but not unique. What is unique? Outstanding. Something someone can write a story about. How many times? Can I go home and say, did you see that guy the way he dressed? When you look at people starting here, let's see, you don't need uh, a graphic to tell you, oh, this guy's entertainers. You look at the way they dress different from the norms, you know. So you're looking at them, this entertainer, just like you see the way she dresses and all that. If you go to see anybody, the person asks you, are, are you a musician or an artist? They cannot ask you if you work in a band. Even when you're the same thing, are you a musician or an artist? What about this time? This time. Oh, don't cry. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, anytime you're addressing think entertainment. Anytime you want to talk, talk entertainment. Anytime you want to present, present. So just make it interesting. All right, I want to start right now with Rick Adam. Good everyone, my name is Ricardo, one of the contestants of Art of Script Africa Season 1. Talking about, uh, talking about, uh, talking about taking uh, Nollywood to the next level, if I'm opportune. Uh, firstly, I will change uh, the mentality of the tribalism because I know uh, a lot of things happen in the uh, uh, Nollywood industry. Tribalism has been a very tough and difficult uh, uh, problem in our uh, industry. Tribalism whereby um, you have a, a very good actor, but it's uh, a, 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 it's a Yoruba. Why? A, a, a person casting the role in a, in a movie, uh, let me say the director or whoever is casting the role, uh, is an ego man. So, and he knows very well that the Yoruba man can play like the role perfectly. Instead of giving the role to the Yoruba man, no, he won't do that. Then he will give it to the and he will give it to the ego man to play the role, which is very wrong. Secondly, I'll talk about uh, regionalism. Regionalism also uh, serves like uh, tribalism, whereby um, uh, the, the, the person they casting the role is a Muslim and uh, the, the actor is a Christian. So instead of him to give the, the role to the Christian, he will give it to a, a Muslim man, which you know the Christian can play better than the, the, the Muslim man. And, and that is very wrong. I don't know. And, and, and also, the bribing and corruption is there too. Where, where, whereby you, when you want to take a role in a movie, the, the director or whoever will ask you to, to, to bring money. Oh, you, you know that? Nollywood is the biggest 
film industry in Africa. Nollywood has shunned out a lot of beautiful movies, no doubt. But Nollywood is far from perfect. I am JFK and I'm here to talk about to allow I'll outline points on how to take Nollywood to the next level. Firstly, the overall technicality in Nollywood sometimes is shocking. You see the lighting, the prop, the continuity, and a lot of errors in acting. Let me start with the lighting. There are a lot of things that needs to be done in terms of lighting in Nollywood movies. There are professional light and prop managers, people that control the missing things. Missing things are the things that goes into making a movie. Props, light and all of that stuff. That needs to be changed. Good light needs to be injected in terms of three-point lighting and, and the rest of them. Secondly, let's talk about the script. I see a lot of filmmakers recycling scripts as if we, we run out of stories in Nigeria. That needs to change. We can pick stories that drive straight into the hearts of the audience. Well, Lemon, a contestant of Actors in Africa. Um, I'll start by saying this. Creativity is a thing of the mind. For you to be creative, you need to think far for you to be creative. The more reason why when you see story writers, they go to a very quiet place to themselves just to think and write. Nigerian Nollywood is is the best in Africa, yeah, fine. But still, they are far from what it is to be perfection. <coughs> and I'll outline my point by saying this. First of all, continuity. You see someone with a bag on this side, when they are coming back to that same scene, the bag is on this other side. Another thing there is story writers. They are not consistent. They write stories. This like they didn't even think of writing the story. How would I be watching a movie, and before even getting to the middle of the movie, I already know what ends the movie. It's no suspense. In fact, some of the picture qualities are poor. Knowing the fact, knowing it fully well that the world is watching. Sometimes when I watch Nollywood. Yeah, it's interesting because you, you just sit down, try to, to, to while away time by watching things that will keep your mind busy because of the problems in Nigeria. Because our problems are actually much. So we need a whole lot of some things to just keep us up. But the truth, if you are a professional, just like we are, they have been putting us up and they have been training us in actor script, there are a lot I have learned from the stage to the screen. Well, thank you. for Actors Group Africa 2021, which is the season one, of course. Um, we're talking about what to bring into Nollywood artistically that will take it to the next level. Now, for me, I'm a lover of action film. I watch a whole lot of non Hollywood action films. And then sometimes I 
watch our own action things and the difference is just massive they try to pull stunts but i feel like they do more of editing to create stunts whereas we could bring in professional martial artists to teach us these stunts it's actually something i intended doing before even coming to the house i tried registering into a martial arts academy just to have that extra skill as an actor so that if i'm faced with a role like that i don't have to they don't have to create it for me in the editing process but i can actually pull it off so that is one major aspect that i would like to work on in the nollywood industry our action things need to do better need to be professional and need to be real another thing is the sfx aspect so i have been seeing of course the sfx we do in movies we're trying nollywood is really doing well especially these days from where we have been coming but i know that we can do better and i also intend to go deep into learning sfx effects that can really help nollywood to produce artistic effect that will look so real that you have to be told to believe that it is actually not real. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good day everybody. My name is Desu. I'm a contestant of Actors Script Africa 2021. I'm an actor and a script writer. How can I take Nollywood to the next level? First of all, I'll start with the content um, aspect of Nollywood. Now, these days, what we see mostly uh, is old stories being interpreted by new actors. You see stories that have been acted you know, a long time ago, and then you just carry um, a new actor and then to rebrand it. That is wrong. I saw a movie once, and then in the movie there was a transformer in the evil forest. Now I was asking myself, is it the spirits in the evil forest that are using the light? Acting is make-believe. So those are few areas we need to look into. How can you have a transformer in the evil forest? It doesn't make sense. Okay, acting-wise, as an actor, I believe we should be versatile. There are some certain actors today that cannot act certain roles, and we need to correct that impression. Okay, as an actor today, give me a script, make me understand it, and then watch me do the magic. I'm a bad guy. So actors in Nigeria, in Nollywood, should be able to, 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 to portray that confidence, that versatile nature, to be versatile in nature. So we really need to work. I believe there are a lot and lots of stories that we've not told. There are lots and lots of amazing stories that are untold. So if we look at this, you know, things critically, I'm sure we'll be able to make a fantastic Nollywood. Thank you. Tracy Oluchi, aka Poshali, one of the contestants of Outer Script Africa, Season 1, 2021. I'm here to tell you people how I'll take the Nollywood industry to the next level. As we all know, Nollywood industry is widely known all over the world. We are known for our intelligent, hard work. Oh, sorry, we are known for our intelligent hard work and artistic level and the best filmmakers all over the world. Nollywood filmmakers should give room for new talent because you have lots of new talent running around the street. I believe when giving them the opportunity with the artistic intelligence, they will take the Nollywood industry to the next level. Secondly, Nollywood filmmakers should learn how to achieve more 
by doing less. What do I mean by that? We should learn how to achieve more by doing less, by willingly accepting to do a lesser workload <coughs> in order to enable us to concentrate, focus, you know, to enable us to concentrate, focus, and um, improve the film industry. Thirdly, we should learn how to fill our free time with the free educational resources. What do I mean by that? Using the internet resources, making proper research on how, on how to take the industry to the next level. Fourthly, we, the, the filmmakers all over the world, should learn how to be their own worst critic. Because the first step to take in improving your skill is to realize that there is room for improvement. And when you figure out the key problems of your filmography, learn to fix okay. them immediately. Thank you. I am in black, but I am not Satan. Although I am from the paraclete, my eyes were closed. My head was empty and my tongue was thirsty. Then I went with my sixth sense into the spiritual. And then I heard the sound of children in the field playing with a lot of bottles and a lot of birds which rep represents all of us. We got it dirty. We got it dirty. Then I laid on the floor again, and I heard the faint step of soldiers, troops, with his lieutenant major holding a wood, which represents Nollywood. All of us are part of it. And then suddenly, the dirties in the field littered everywhere. We were thinking, how then can we make this change, which I'm a part of? And then we hear sound from the north, from the south, coming together in the middle of the field. It was so strong. And then it was the sound of the curious effect. And then we thought about it. How can we make this change happen? And it's by your interpretation, your artistry, your mannerisms, by your message, importantly your discipline and your loyalty. We all got it this bad and we all can change it, no matter the percentage. And always remember there is something about changes. Your percentage, be it small or big, is very important. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Parapletos. Oh. 
Actors Grip Africa fame. And I'm here to present on, a, on the fact that when I'm given the opportunity to send Nollywood to the next level, it will be a privilege. I was listening to the BBC one evening and the presenter or the host of the program that moment made a profound statement saying that um, Nollywood is the second industry to the Hollywood. They produce more movies than the Hollywood, but all they produce are trash, which is disheartening. Now, they put in a lot of efforts to make sure that their industry works very well for to entertain the, the, the global viewers. Now, when I'm given the opportunity, I will introduce the 2D, 3D effects into the industry and make it stronger. Now, I will introduce the medium known as the TEVAS, Transit Educational Value Added Service, in order to add more values to the artist, upcoming artist, and the already made artist, to be able to image them together. Now, we have the CGI, which has to be a um, which is known as the computer generated Nigeria, which is called Nollywood, a strong and um, a, a strong uh, place to be as an industry. Thank you. Hello world, hello Africa. Now, taking Nollywood to the next level, these are the things I'm to do. As an artist, I'm to bring originality, I'm to bring creativity, to any given role assigned to me because that is what makes me a, a, an artist. So I will make sure I bring that originality, that you know, flow in the game. Secondly, there are things that make up a good story, ranging from the storyline, the artist, the location, and funding. Funding is one key thing because you agree with me that you might have good actors good story, good location, but if the right equipment are not there, you won't get the right story. The story will not be told very well. So as an actor, these are things I'm going to look into and I'll make sure I give a plain level ground to everybody. Everybody is going to be carried along. Hence, you have the talent, you are disciplined. In fact, you are welcome. I'll make sure investors in fact, they, they will love the creative industry because right now we are lacking investors. We are lacking people. So I'll make sure I bring these people. Let's work together so that we'll take Nollywood to that height, to that level where it is supposed to be. Nollywood has employed a thousand and one youths. So this is an industry we shouldn't joke with or jeopardize what God has given to us. It is left for us to harness the potential as God has given to us. So I'm going to make it a level playing ground. Give for energy. All right. Give for energy. Hi, Africa. Hi, Nigeria. Hi, world. My name is Drew and I'm a contestant of Actors Group Africa reality TV show. Now I'm here to talk about what I will do 
and how I can take um, not, not even to the next level artistically. And first of all, we all watch Hollywood and we are aspiring to be or to be better. And some of the things that makes Hollywood so beautiful is number one, the storyline or the script, the actors, the amount they put into funding these movies and of course, the, 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 the artistry or the creativity in bringing everything together like a perfect painting. Now, I think that uh, one, one of the things that I feel is the problem with Nigeria or Nollywood filmmaking is our storyline. Now, they say that there's nothing new under the sun, but I feel like uh, we are used to the kind of stories that we tell and we keep on repeating the same storyline. Now, there are a thousand and one stories that we have not told and we are not willing to leave our comfort zone and tell these kind of stories. I, for one, will not remain in my comfort zone as an actor, an aspiring producer, a scriptwriter, and, and director. I would raise the bar, and I'm sure that my colleagues would follow suit. Secondly, I think another problem is that we cast a lot of stars. Now, it's good to cast stars, and I'm, I have no problem with casting of popular faces, but you need to understand that when you make these people more important than the craft itself, they water down the process, water down filmmaking, water down the script, and the story because they know or they feel like they are bigger than the stories. But when you understand that they have to fight, but when they understand that they have to fight for the script, fight for the role, they will put in the work, put in the effort, and I'm sure that the stories will come out much more better. And that is one thing I also do as an actor. Oh, I would. Teresa Chukunonso Ogu, aka Baby Tutti. I'm one of the contestants for Actors Script Africa Season 1. I'm here to tell you how I'll be taking Nollywood to the next level. Nollywood, as a Nigerian movie industry, is widely known. And for that, a co-production co is all I need to take it to the next level. What is co-production? Co-production is a collaboration for the development, financing, and dis financing distribution and what is co-production? Co-production is the development is a collaboration for the development, financing, distribution, and producing of a motion project picture of a motion picture project. is to, sh to share financial risk, bring, the finan bring financial and creative parties together in a joint venture, and gain the benefits of one or more co-produced and produ produced film from other countries. My name is Solution, contestant of Actors Script Africa Season 1. I'm here to talk about how to take Nollywood to the next level. First, Nollywood is about entertainment and delivering message, giving, teaching people the way of different, teaching people the way of living life and other things to know. For this this period of time, the Nollywood have lost the entertainment. Example, when Nakia Papa was in Nollywood, a lot of people watch Nollywood and we still do. When they were late, you know, they are coming up. People love watching Nollywood. Even parents don't disturb their children to stop watching Nollywood. 
for this period, they don't watch Nollywood anymore. They stop the children to stop watching Nollywood because what they are asking is not about the entertainment anymore. They are just destroying people's in the way, different way of you know, giving a wrong message. They said that they treat the, uh, the parents don't allow their children to, to, to watch Nollywood anymore. And that is why the skit makers are making more money and making more follow, getting more followers. There is a lot of skit makers now because why they are entertaining people, which is supposed to be for Nollywood. But skit makers are taking it away from them. So they are not the one leading. Now people are not following the skit makers. Nollywood are losing their customers and the viewers. So I will, my suggestion is maybe they should bring upcoming actors who are able to bring that comic in the entertainment and let the Nollywood go forward and let the children also and the review start increasing Nollywood. Thank you. season one. And now, how do I intend to take Nollywood to the next level? Let's talk about the story. We, the audience, we are used to Nollywood stories. We are used to king, we are used to prince, princess. So it's more like anytime we watch a Nollywood movie, we kind of know what's going to happen even before the movie gets to an end. If we, we should work on our storylines. We should see there are, there are a lot of people that want to tell their story. A lot of people in the world want to tell their story. I feel like if there's a platform where people can just come and pour out their hearts, there are a lot of depressed people, there are a lot of people that, that they, want, they want to tell the whole world what is going on in a particular place. If we can have a platform for that, I believe that the script, writes, the script writers can then work on the story and then we'll have new movies, new refreshing movies. Then I also talk. I like to talk about the funding. We as not we as Nollywood. Why don't we work closely with the government? You notice that every every year the government they release budgets on um, how to do this, how to do that. Why don't the government put a lot of money or invest into our Nollywood movies so that we can be able to because to get to for you to produce a top notch movie, you have to put in a lot of money. You have to put in a lot of money. So I believe that the Nollywood people should work closely with the government, let the government invest into our Nollywood movies, and then we can have we can um, have a lot of money to produce top-notch movies. Also, why don't we work with the Hollywood um, people? We we are we Nigerians or we audience. We like we, we prefer Hollywood movies to Nollywood movies, probably because. Hollywood movies, they do different things. Than. So, I think. Uh, uh, that was you. Uh, 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 you. Okay, I'm here to talk about how to take the Nollywood industry to the next level. Fine. First of all, this actors Cream Africa is one of the one of the, 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 the way to take Nollywood to the next level. One, what I will do is to set up a program like this and I will collaborate with white people over there to come here and make it a composition with the government that any Nollywood filmmaker must pass through this platform before coming out to shoot or to do anything. That will give a license and to make every filmmaker in Nigeria to be serious because if you don't get your certificate from the program, 
you are not allowed to take cameras and roll anyhow. So I will first of all set up this program, bring professionals from abroad to that means collaborating with filmmakers in Hollywood. Why Hollywood are even better than, than Nigeria? Most especially, their effects are superb. And Hollywood take a lot of risks. They destroy things to make it real. But Nigeria, they try to make to put effect in everything just for them to manage money. But Hollywood spend millions of naira just to produce a single film. Nigeria Hollywood, uh, filmmakers, that's in Hollywood, they prefer using 100,000. They don't mind using 100,000 to produce a film just for them to manage. They don't want to spoil, they don't want to make things real. And what they just want is to make their money and gain back. So first of all, I will make sure that that platform is the only way to come out to become a filmmaker. Before you can before you can be a filmmaker, you will have the license that's collaborating with uh, the white professionals that are in that field, especially the effect aspect and the camera takings. Thank you. First of all, I would like to appreciate Nollywood. Like, seriously, it's not easy making a movie, especially the cinema movies. You know, I would like to appreciate them a lot. They are trying. But I think there are some things if we should take into consideration and change, it will really help a lot. One is the mindset. Yeah, the mindset of our script writers or our story writers. Now, we are, we are used to this story. Let me give you an instance where a guy and a girl are in love. The guy is broke. Then the guy goes to the city. Six months later, he, he comes back very rich and the girl suffers later on. And this story keeps on re repeating itself. So I, I'll be like, so what would the girl be doing all those while? Well, I think this mindset if we could be changed, if we could be more creative and realistic <coughs> in the way we write stories, it would really go a long way in helping. Secondly, is effect. Yeah, I know there are film tricks, but I, as a person, I would prefer if you're lying to me, lie, lie to me in a way that I will believe you, not lying to me in a way I will know, yes, this is a lie. For instance, if you're watching a Hollywood movie where there's a lion attack, believe me, you would think it's a real lion. But here in Nollywood, you know obviously this is, you will be like, is it even a toy? So I think in terms of our effect, we should, if, if oh, we could, you. you don't to me, thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Otto Josh. My name is Otto Joshua, but please call me Otto Josh. I'm one of the contestants, Actors Free Africa, season one. Well, entertainment is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing filmmakers in Nollywood have refused or didn't understand. They keep looking at one particular direction of entertainment. Now, entertainment being for everyone, how about our children? If you look around, here in Nollywood, we don't have programs for kids. If you bring 10 parents, I can assure you that we'll have 20 kids, 20 children. So does it mean that children don't have right to entertainment? Also, our filmmakers should also look towards the direction of producing cartoons for our kids. Yes, we all know all these things, but then, Let's not leave piracy out of this. Piracy is one of the biggest problems that Nigeria um, Nollywood are facing today. But then, with the help of the government, we can actually curb 
these pirates and place them where they actually belong. We can do this by setting up a committee that will make sure anybody that pirates mm. any movie will go in for it. Then secondly, our writers, on the other hand, they should think outside the box. It shouldn't be all about robbing the bank, falling in love, village scene, courtesy. We should actually look at other places like sea. Does it mean that the sea, there is no life happening there? There are lots of things going on on the sea that our filmmakers have, haven't really um, uh, looked at that direction. So me as a script writer, I intend to take Nollywood to the next level by touching these areas which our filmmakers in Nigeria haven't really touched. Thank you. Okay. to the next level by bringing creativity into Nollywood. Remember, as an actor, you are also a teacher. So I expect our actors to also go into other fields of studies and not just concentrate on acting alone. By doing this, you are also teaching at the same time, picking ideas from other fields of studies, bringing it into acting, Teaching the younger ones, the older ones. There are a lot of things we don't know. Not because we we not because we are we are not learned, but because it's 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 not common, it's not being told around. There are a lot of ideas that are not, that are not being shared that can be shared in movies. As Nigerians, majority of Nigerians don't like reading, but they prefer to hear, to see. When they watch movies. They'll be able to learn from those movies, even without reading them, and to stick more. Also, I feel roles should be merited. You don't just give roles to people because they are stars, and you feel um, bringing them into the in, into the into the um, into your movie would make it would make your movie um, um, go far. You should be able to cast them properly. Look at them. Is this person? capable to take this role. Sometimes our producers, our directors, they just do it for money's sake. They don't look at the person's act, they don't look at the person himself. If the person can take this role properly, if the person can pass that message you're trying to, to, to portray to the world. So I feel by casting, to take Nollywood to the next level. Firstly, 
we all know our major problem in this country is in uh, our major problem in this country, our major challenge rather in this country is insecurity. First of all, I'll ensure that I bring that into the entertainment world, whereby our actors who can move freely without a bodyguard, and also to work hand in hand with Nollywood, um, with Nollywood also to bring good equipment for a better movie shoot. And I'll also create a platform where young talented actors will come to showcase their talent because we are we have a lot of talent young actors their talents are wasting out there and also gets the government involved into the entertainment world because if the government got, gets into the entertainment world Hello, I'm Good Day. My name is Ginny, one of the lucky contestants of Actors to Africa TV reality show, <coughs> season one, 2021. How do I intend to artistically transform the filmmaking we know as Nollywood industry today in Nigeria? Well, as an artistic person, I love varieties, okay? Yeah, so I think one of the important ways that can happen is by collaboration. Yes, we shouldn't be stagnant in what we do. We should be willing to collaborate with other rooms, just like the Hollywood, because just the way it is, obviously and literally speaking, they are far better than what we do here. And if you check it out, none of our movies have ever been nominated close to Oscar, to receiving an Oscar award. And it's because in reality, uh, what we do is not up to the standard, but I feel and I think that by the time we are willing to collaborate with other groups like Hollywood and yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood, which is the toppers of every wood when it comes to movie industry in Nigeria, I think by the time we collaborate with them to do our movies and everything, not only would our movies be nominated for, for, for Oscar award, but also our actors too as well could be nominated to receive Oscar awards. And I hope that be done as soon as possible because I, for one, I am myself as someone who would be the first Nollywood actor to be nominated for an Oscar award and as well receive the award. Thank you. change the mindset of the audience through the script. Every, um, um, our audience targets are expecting us to write stories about a king and a queen, but let's change their mind through the scripts that we write. We have depth stories that we could actually 
put out there that would change everything. And then um, let's talk about now. Let's talk about um, technicalities. We try to do so much of everything when originally. Um, on a, on a, in, a Hollywood, in a Hollywood movie, when you check the cast and the crew, you see that everything happens independently. But in our Hollywood movies, a maker that is the director is a maker that is the continuity. A maker that is the props man is a maker that is handling the lighting, and that's too much of everything. Everybody, I believe as an actor, I believe in training, I believe in discipline. Master your craft, put everything together, and make sure that the goal you're um, targeted at is what you achieve in the end. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, my name is Vincent Chica Ibe. IBB. I am one of the consultants of Africa, of, the, of Actors Script Africa. Um, I am here to talk about what I will bring into Nollywood to make it different. Yeah, I was born and bred in the United States of America. There we are creativity. Our manalizing is very okay. Now I am back in my country, where I have Nollywood. <laughs> How can I make it to be like what I saw in the United States of America? We do a lot of things there. I am actor, filmmaking, a producer. <laughs> How will I change this in this country? Okay. Now, number one thing that we do now is I have to go and bring some of my friends in the United States who is well creative, who knows how to produce movie and make it real in everything. And also, discipline matters, yes. Because over there we are well disciplined. Yes. Everything we do, we discipline ourselves. That one is very, very important. What again will I do to make it real? Tell us. We make everything possible. Our set and pros is one of the best. Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 how to take, how to artistically 
if, if, if artistic is not there, then you will be saying something different. How to artistically take Nollywood, in, terms of, uh, in other words, production, film production, in other words, to the next level. Now, we have all that person, we have the technical part. If they have said, most of you, what you were just saying, said was, was just the technical part. If it were how to take, or how to technically take Nollywood to the next level, then most of you would have been on point. But most of you are just talking about the technical part. If it were to be how to commercially take Nollywood to the next level, then most of you are just talking about the commercial part. If it were to be how to, you know, eth um, uh, ethically, you know, take Nollywood to the next level, then it would have been better because most of you are just talking about that part. How to artistically. So when they say artistic, to be artistic means what? Your ability to interpret a character. That is what it means. When they say artistically, your ability, we're not talking about um, how the shots are going to be taken, the light and the movement, the other stuff. How you, 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 that you watch somebody and you're like, oh, this person. Is this person really a criminal? Is it real life? Oh, ah, this person, do you want to kill this person? You know, sometimes when you watch foreign movies, you get scared, like, what's really happening? You know, while we're growing up with all that, do you know what that movie they call Evil Dead? Yeah, Evil Dead. Yeah. When I was growing up, I watched that movie, I still thought it was real. Uh, I yes, yes. But when you watch a horror movie, a horror movie in Nollywood, you laugh. Yeah. Yes. But you laugh at that, it's funny. But when you watch a horror movie in, in, in Hollywood, you get scared to get into the room. No. Now, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. If those people did not interpret, ah, if they don't read people well, you think the effect is going to make any sense? No. Well, the, the, well, the effect was even good to read, but we're talking about your ability to interpret the character. Now, of which, um, Almost, just only few people just touched a little bit, but it went out. Most of you are just out of point. Many of you out of point. But I think two people touched it a little bit and went out. So and these two people, we have to recognize them and give kudos to them. But before I call these two people, I love. Let's just appreciate these two people because they were creative. Explain someone to be just as they were to be creative here and then give me some, you know, display me explanations through the creativity. But I just for the drive and the attempts to be creative, give it up for G29 and IPB. California, California. I love, I love how they came about. But in as much as they went out of points, but I love, I love how they were creative about it. That was artistic, you know. That was artistic. Though G29 gave one or two points, but it was not explained and went out of, you know. So, but I love the creativity. You know, the way they came out, it was dramatic and interesting. Put your hands together for that. That's a question. Like, I just want to, I just like the right, like the wings, like the wings. I know, I thought about yeah, the, yeah, yeah. we all sported the children in the don't, field, don't, in the dirt. Don't explain to me what happened. What that, okay, okay. Tell me the solution. Okay. How okay. do you take it to the next level? Start with the solution. Well, it's okay. Well, I love your dream. Cheers. 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 All the people who touched little, who who understood what when they say the, the topic, like you know, artistically to the next level, and uh, and though if one or two, I was just looking at points. I was looking at if they really had the direction of the question. Uh, give it up for partially. Yeah, they, they really, they were trying to touch uh, those stuff, 
but um, there were people who just gave one point, just one point, some just gave two points. Ricardo. so precious when the time goes it doesn't come back so I cannot even waste my time with any human I cannot have I, there's no additional value you are here you fertilize your people there's no value from take off because all you are trying to do is to bring you down from the already acquired value you've got even your boyfriend your girlfriend if, it's not only getting value from you if they are not adding value to you take off so I cannot watch a movie that there is no value artistically. Don't worry, very soon we're going to come to the technical part of filmmaking. But today we want to drill on the artistic part. It's crazy. But we're going to look into a whole lot of things that dilapidated the, 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 the quality and the level of the standard of filmmaking in Nalo, in Nigeria. <coughs> uh, first and foremost, let me just correct a few words like that. You know, so we came here to say the reason why you don't say a reason why. Say a reason. Either you say a reason or you say a why. Okay, a reason why is to talk. Then one of the contestants, not one of the contestants, because uh, we're talking about one out of the contestants. One out of main. Okay? And uh, without, no without, with, without. So the with is a preposition. With, you know, if you say with, you're giving it a different meaning. It's a serious crowd. With is a serious crowd. Are you listening? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 With is a serious crowd, <coughs> which is spells W H E A T. So you have to pronounce it rightly so that it will be well understood. We're talking about international picture. So that people don't watch you and they get confused. Then, um, where else? Not world. So we say world. 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 Yeah. World. Yeah. world. Yeah. world. Yeah. All right? World. Okay, let's go to the. Um, now, number one, problem you have artistically. Very important because tomorrow is going to be potential for makers who don't make the mistakes fully. that these so called producers have been making over the years. Because I am seeing great filmmakers amongst you that will change the narrative of Nollywood. Number one, mindset. The mindset of the producer. Now, the producer could be an executive producer. Not all executive producers can be producers. But all producers can be executive producers. What makes you an executive producer when you have the cash? But what makes you a producer is an understanding of total filmmaking. That makes you think. We have the executive um, um, part of it, 
you know, in, in a filmmaking or in a film production, there are two directors. We have the uh, administrative director and the technical director. The administrative director is the producer, and the technical director is the technical man in charge putting the components, interpretation from script to screen together to make it a footage. So, the administrative director, who happens to be the producer, he is the mindset. What is his mindset to make a film? Many producers, especially when you go to a server, that is where you see a lot of them. They want to make a film, they already have people who have donated money to them. <coughs> so they tell the writer, uh, Nah, I ain't, I ain't getting it. We'll go give, uh, there's this girl, write scripts. It should, they will tell a writer to write a lot of agenda. Sometimes when a writer brings a perfect script to the producer, because the producer has have extra people, you know, different people who have donated money or whatever, you know, agree they have, you know, that is craving towards them. And they influence the writer to tell the writer, hey, you know what, you have to write a gender, write more scenes, <coughs> just to accommodate. Perhaps some ladies like, I cannot give you 100,000, I play few scenes. I want to play close to 50, 60 cents. Mm. The producer tells the writer, nah, Nami, I am the owner of that film. You're right? That's the <laughs> mindset. <laughs> and you see them walk through in the story. A story, if you see the original story, be becomes what to me. And just to please a lot of people uh, who have uh, done so favor to the producer, and then the producer, they don't care. They said, after all, we had one market in the movies. And then they influence the writer, and then they, they get some jumps. At the end, they give roles to these people. So the mindset of the producer is already, is already cankered, or then it is already infected. All right, there is no professionalism in the mindset. Are you understanding me? He is not looking at the future of the film, he is looking at the pockets. Yeah. He's not looking at the future because I believe every good story in the next 20 years you should be earning from that story. But in other words, you, should, you cannot even finish watching a movie. You just done watching half, you cannot want to watch it again. Yeah. You just you finish watching the movie now, you just cannot watch it again. But look at Terminator, Titanic. Many years ago, today is evergreen. Yeah. You still want to watch it again. Why? Because there was a strong artistic display. The artist is display, I believe when this lady died, or when the guy died, when he died, I know most of you watch it, you crawl. There was an artistic interpretation. Because the role was given to the person who deserved it. Now, secondly, the scriptwriter. Concepts. Another problem is concepts. Most scriptwriters, they write stories without a concept surrounding the artist which we derive lack of character definition. And so when an artist, where he was supposed to be calm, even when he's angry, he was supposed to take the lines calmly, just because he found out that the script and the words from the script is just angry lines, you see him, he feels his interpretation of being angry is a shout. You see him shouting, thereby watering the intensity of that interpretation. But the problem, you won't blame the artist because when they like it, I would say, get angry. Ah! That is how to get angry. But the writer should be able to have a character definition in your lines while scripting it, he should be able to have a concept. And define it. Okay, he angrily, but calmly spoke to him. Now, even when he was calm, are you understanding me? Yes. The anger will still be there, like. You see, that death, just like when you see someone like Peter Dutch taking some lines, you see him, his eye like. Yeah. He might not even scream. Do you know that that same part even made it public? Because the usual way people know is to scream and scream. But the scriptwriter has a lot of work to do. You get into the heart of people, into the devices of interpretation, and then you interpret them from a initial function. So concept is another problem. All right? And that's when you only watch a movie, you watch, and that is the reason actors fade. 
Because you know why they fade? Angrily, you shout it. So the mind is like, ah, I beg, making commotion, we don't have the same face. Yeah. You're not present, the same anger. But when angrily, there's a way you take your warnings. You know, it triggers people that are like, ah, nobody can take it just the way he takes. You see everybody want to come after you, in the next 20 years, you're still relevant. Can I shock you? The concept and mindset of producers and writers helps to kill artists, kill their careers. In the next 20 years, in the next two years, this set of artists have faded. They get new people. No artists, actors are not supposed to fade. Actors don't fade. But it's only in Hollywood I hear it. Quad. No concept. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. Yes. You want to know, you want to prepare your mind. Man, don't just get it. You have to sit down and analyze all the things. Your story writer, your script writer must be conceptualized. He must have what he wants. You sit him down. You say the story. You analyze. You break down the characters of this artist, of the cast. You, you talk. You, you get into the, the, that's what they call the background of these characters. When you have the background of these characters, it helps the characters to take some kind of line based on their background. Not just taking lines because the lines are really there. <laughs> Another crazy one that is killing the artistry or the artistic prowess or, or level of um, knowledge is lack of audition. Audition. Everybody say. Audition. 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 Everybody say. Audition. 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 T-I-O-N is Shin, not Sean. Audition. audition. What is audition? Who can tell me? Audition. <laughs> tell me. More like an entire it's not a new casting. Casting is different from audition. We're going to come to that. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You're trying to be correct. I think the process for evaluating a character and acting seriously is a That's casting. That's casting. Audition is is evaluating or... You want to say something? Say, say, try, try. Come up with it. Thank you, knowing the ability of of an actor or people who come because for you to be an actor you should be able to interpret not all the people who come are actors. The evaluation of the ability of the people who come for roles. But after you have the stage of audition, you get over to casting. The, uh, the casting is the interpretable of your definition. <clears throat> All right? Because can I shock you? Star! It's only in Hollywood that stars don't come for casting. In Hollywood, stars come for casting. In Hollywood, stars come for casting. They might not come for audition because they're already good. Because audition is just to know if you're a good in acting. They might not come for audition because they're established already. But for casting, you must know who fits what. Tony Montana, way back, many years ago, Tony Montana, Scarface, Scarface, yeah. by Al Pacino. Yeah. The director did audition for three months. After auditioning, he called for casting. He could not find the perfect character for Tony Montana. Stars came for that character. Shockingly, Anna Schwarzenegger, Steve, um, this guy, Chuck Norris, most of these crazy actors Bandam, um, um, to, uh, Tony Banderas. In short, that was the, where they discovered Tony Banderas. But he didn't fit in for that role. You know, Tony Banderas could still play a psycho, but there's something they were looking out for, for that character. And the director could not find him, so he had to travel over to uh, Mississippi. So in his hotel room upstairs, he was just watching. Al Pacino was a taxi driver. That was how he discovered that. You know what I'm saying? So, what am I trying to say? Anybody or any star, in short, in Hollywood, they, I think the producers and directors have really influenced these stars and they make you feel it is wrong or it's a taboo for the star to come for casting. That is the reason that I figure it's fail out. Because when you get someone who fits in a role properly, that movie stands the test of time. 
But the reason is that you don't really see people who, but just feel, oh, you're a face, okay, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be for you. No. So, I've come into that, a whole lot of things we're going to talk about. So, audition is very, very important. Audition, very important. Because from audition, you discover new talents. Who can interpret rules very well? From audition. People you don't know, perhaps you might just want to use a star for this role, but from audition, you see people better than a star. And you have no choice. That person. So, in not, right now, what they do is, you know, there's what they call table casting. Have you heard of table casting? Yes. A producer, it doesn't make sense to me. The producer has got a script to you, you don't even know where. You're right now, no audition anywhere. If you don't know anybody, if you're not connected, nothing to you. Yes. Right now, the novel we have right now, you don't know anybody, nothing to you. I'm telling you the truth. It doesn't make sense. Somebody advertises a script before you know it, they are shooting. You just call. Back, back, back. No, because there are some sensitive roles that you need to have an audition and you get people who fit into it. When people come together. So let's, let's not hit much of that. I believe you, you've got it, the, the, the message, right? Yes, sir. Then casting. Casting, casting, very important. Casting is to know who fits in a particular character. Casting. Knowing those who fit in a particular These are the things that are killing the artistic problems in Nollywood. Nollywood has not been able to get out of a certain level and people watch people, actors crying in the movie, people are laughing. It doesn't make sense. When an actor is crying in the movie, you are supposed to cry alongside. When you see actors crying in the movie, you can see the face. <laughs> because, because there is no intense hitting. The emotion is not coming out. They are not connecting with the viewer's soul. Because they don't do casting. All right. The next one is rehearsals. Oh my God, in Hollywood, they can use six months for rehearsals. But here, who has the time for rehearsals? They just go in and play a mecha role, they play in one movie, they carry it over to your set and play that same character. Listen to me, you can play lover boy in five different movies and you give five different interpretations of that lover boy. But what we see in Hollywood is carrying over interpretation from the last movie. Hey, now, nah, she did play lover boy for that movie. Hey, come and do that thing you do for that thing. Do I'm here now. Bullshit. Bullshit. You kill what you know. Listen to me. A character is being dead to yourself and alive to whatever character you have in the space. Because that is why I say acting is spiritual. Yes, sir. Acting is never physical. Yes. You have to kill whatever or where you're coming from and then get a life to the original star. And so you see these producers that if you don't act out like that, come here and um, like the same thing. And and you keep watching. And when the movie comes out, you see people get bored of you. Playing at love and love. Now listen to me. Because of rehearsals and casting, they overuse a particular actor for the same character. And they make the actor stereotype. Do you know that these producers and directors killed the career of most of these actors you don't hear of anymore? Why? Because they've not tried them into new characters. They played one drunk and they become star. In the next 50 films, not drunk at the person where they play. So once you see any movie, you see the person, you preempt it. It is killing the artists. Oh my God, you watch Hollywood movies. You see. This actor playing another role, you see him in a different look. In another movie, playing another role, you see him in another look. Sometimes you might not even recognize him until you see the end credit. That is character interpretation. And it's made possible by casting and rehearsals. That is the narratives actors script Africa is trying to change. Yes. 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 Listen to me, it might be time taking, but it's worth it. Rehearsals. You shake, it doesn't matter if he's a star or not. You shake him, take him out of his normal self. Let him be dynamic. An actor is supposed to be dynamic. Because an actor is not just somebody who acts, an actor is he who interprets every character convincingly. You must interpret him. I'm not used to this kind of role. No, it should be out of the mouth of an actor.
Now, another problem again, I think there is, you know, there's what they call cast director. Cast director, or they call it casting director. Now, do you know what happens in most production? PM does the casting. The production manager yes, yes. does the casting. What does the production manager know about casting? Sometimes the producer does it. Sometimes the, it's the girlfriend of the producer who does casting. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what does he know about casting? People go to school to study casting. You must be psychologically balanced. You must be psychologically artistic to be a good cast director. Because a cast director must be a soul connector. Because he's trying to bring out a picture of a character from the script. He's trying to resurrect that dead character into a living being. So a cast director, which is absent in our Hollywood, there's no cast. Even our technical director has no business with cast directing, with casting, because the, 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 these people, they went for training for it. So if there's a cast director, then those who fit the role will be given. Do you know sometimes, even if you come out and you did not really act it very well, a cast director should be able to see it inside of you and like, no, 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 okay, producer, let me have this person for just one month. I will get it out of the person. It takes a cast director to know how to do that because they are psychologically balanced. They are psychologically artistic. So the presence of cast director, very important, which is missing in Hollywood. So if all these things are put in place, we are taking Hollywood to the next level artistically. Now, are you writing down? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why not? Are you writing down? Because well, I believe we have potential filmmakers here. Sure. sure. So tomorrow you sit down and analyze all these things going to help. Then we talked about character definitions and all that from the writer. The writer should be able to define all the characters. <coughs> and do you know one beautiful way, as a writer, visit a lot of places. For example, you're writing the character of a medical doctor. Go to hospitals, meet doctors, sit with them, ask them questions, find out how they think and how they do this, how they handle most of their apparatus. I tell you, I, I don't watch Hollywood movies. Even the way they want to test the pulse of somebody, even one of you acted. You're like, hey, there's no pulse, there's no pulse. I I couldn't cut, I couldn't cut, listen, I would have cut it, but because time, the general was after the time, but I was in my hand, I was like, I don't pass. You are saying, I want that, I want that. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, okay. see, from here, and it will take time for you to realize that. Yeah. Not just immediately. Okay, no sight on. So, so, so that, that's a problem. Okay. So that is the work of a right, like character definition. Like I said something I made a prospect before about the neuro, neuroses and psychosis. You're writing a story concerning people like that. You make research because there are department like you go, there's a word for neuro neurotic patients and there's a word for psychotic patients. Mm. You don't, just like a mad person, these, a mad person into these two fractions, the neuroses, you don't write the character of the psychosis for the neuroses. Now, the two different set of mad people and they have their two different ways of behavior mm. and they have their two different ways of appearance. You don't write these for that. In other words, research. As a writer, you must be a great and fantastic researcher. How many writers research in Hollywood? If they research, it will reflect in their movies. They don't research. You see a policeman. <laughs> even how to handle guns. Even criminals. To yeah. handle guns, they don't know how to handle guns. Yeah. Handling gun, almost, you know, putting down the, 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 the trigger. No, that trigger is so sensitive. Any little, it could just release fire. So there's a way you hold it. They don't make it. You see them? They're almost pressing it. And nothing's coming out. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But all these things, you know, 
um, I think it's still the work, but I'm still coming to a kind of someone who's supposed to put all these people into, you know, proper positions so that they know how to handle these things. But the writer has a lot of things to do. The writer does a lot of research, it's going to be easy for the cast director and also for uh, a name I want to call, which is the artistic director, we'll still come to that. Then, let's come to artistic director. The artistic director is not the cast director. The cast director is putting the characters into their fitted role. Then the artistic director is putting the cast into character, rehearsing them, the artistic director. The artistic director, the cast director is putting the artist, putting them in their perspective in their different roles, but the artistic director is to put the artist into character. You know, ah, I know it, I've been acting this before. You've been acting this before, but you've not acted this script before. So you have to come for rehearsals. I don't know, it doesn't mean I've been acting before now, so why would I come for rehearsals? You've been acting, have you acted this story before? So this story said different in the time, so you have to come for rehearsals. Because I, as the artistic director, I have the mood and the emotion behind me. So you have to come for rehearsals. So I like, tell you the kind of mood you'll be into in a particular line. Are you following me? Yes, yes sir. sir. The presence of artistic director. So these were the things I expected you to outline, make your points, and then you explain. Because it's all connected to artistic prowess. All right? Yes, then dry runs. Very important. And uh, put your hands together for yourselves. Because I was watching, before you shoot, I hear you like, let's dry runs, let's dry runs. I think, because the when you dry runs, you get the proper attitude and the characters involved. Dry runs is very important. Dry runs are very important, you know. Before you shoot, you do a dry run so that you understand if there is any problem there, your artistic director is going to correct that. Then, have you heard of what they call lines director? Yes, sir. Lines director. Your line director makes you take the lines that in a way that is properly fitting to your character. The terminologies that were supposed to be put in there, the modulation and how to take the lines, apart from the character, portraying the character, having the disposition, having the composure, have the gesture and all that by the artistic director, that the lines directors will now tell you the mood and emotions to take your lines. The line director. When you take it, you say, no, 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 don't take it, take it this way. Oh, no, don't use this word, use this word. No, for your character, this is the word you're supposed to use, the line director. Now, all these things, someone came here to say something, that the absence of division of labor. Who said that? Or more to say, stand up. Put your, you said something about division of labor, isn't it? Yes. Go, put your hands together for her. When one person who calls it, do you know that sometimes even most directors don't have mouth? It is the production manager who decides. That is the person that will play this. So come on, please. Take like, take like, take like. Actually, I am director, where are you? Let's just it's crazy. If there is a division of labor, there will be the chance for everybody to be mastery over the other departments. And you see, everybody will calmly understand it. And when they calmly understand it, you see everything will be perfect. First and foremost, everybody should go back to train. So, the lines director, very important to interpret your lines. One, to interpret your character, and another one, you need to interpret your character with your lines. You don't just take lines because, oh, the line, I just limit it. No, 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 no. Every line has an interpretation. Every line has, sometimes a line can have about five different moods in that line. You see, I see people taking lines flat. No, sometimes just only a straight line could take about five different moods in it. Just like, <laughs> is this what you say to me and you are serious about it? How many moods have I given? Three. Three moods. <laughs> serious about it? Sure. Oh, God. If I had known, 
Now, since I'm, I'm, I'm not through, but I'm giving close to six there additional. We are giving two more added to this. So, the lines director should be able to put you in that mood to interpret your character with your lines. Not just, hey, hey, oh, hey, is it what it's going to be? Hey, no, 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 shit. You're watching everything. You're making it not have a substance. Our Nollywood movies don't have substance. Sure. That's why you're tired of watching it. You're watching it half side and you. They don't finish. They don't kill that person. Okay. Uh, you change channels. When you watch some people acting in Hollywood, sometimes you ask yourself, is, is this really happening? Or oh, camera is somewhere shooting. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I get my point. So, but we, let's get to that level. And these are the things you need to put in place to get to that level. Okay. Another crazy thing that happens in Hollywood, they are starstruck, producers are starstruck. Yeah. Yeah. Producers are starstruck. Star 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 yeah, starstruck. Like, yeah, star 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 star. star. He's a star, he's a face, make you play that role. Anyhow, make you sell. Even be big belly, make you carry gun. Action film. When you know that in an action film, number one, you have to be strategic and you have to be smart and you have to be, you know, physically fit. I watched one movie, unfortunately the movie sold, but it was funny. Sent to be with Big Stomach, State of Emergency way back. Yeah. 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 Your yeah. yeah. stomach was dancing. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. What, what is their workshop? At least they would have done Sent to be a great favor to say, okay, we want you to play this role, but go into six or three months gym. Go gym and go into directing for three months. What is bad about that? But no patience for that because there's no money to waste in Nigeria because the market is crazy here. So what do you do? Back, 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 now, to be this, you go and call it a face. Yeah, particular about the face. They're not particular about the interpretation because they think interpretation is only ah, I can act. No, your looks is still an interpretation. Your looks too should interpret a character. That is why the first thing, if you come for audition or casting, the first thing is the person's looks. Because that is what the, the, the scriptwriter interpreted from the script, the character analysis. So you see the looks, oh, come, come. Then when the person reads and the person is not interpreting it well, then you look for another opportunity, another you know, way out. But if you feel, okay, I, I'm seeing something with this person, I can build the character to this person, and then fine. But looks, you must be in a proper shape. And that's what is it's not there in Hollywood. You see a Jebota because he's a face. He's playing soft, 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 that he's suffering. Does that make sense? I've watched it so much. They use Nansenwa. Without the right makeup. Nansenwa, playing a suffering boy. And he's fresher than even a rich man who came to say, oh, uh, what's wrong with you? I want to help you out. Nansenwa is even fresher than that person. In Hollywood, what they would do, they would starve you for, for months. To starve you for months until your cheekbones are coming out. Yeah, and you're looking. That's the picture of what they wanted to bring. And because because they want to take you out of your normal self, they want to give you that right interpretation with your looks. They will pay you well. They will pay you in a billion dollars because they're trying to take you out. Look at look at it's a touch it messed up. One time it was painful to me. I hope this is a man. Okay, it might be on this one, but don't put it. It's a yeah, I don't want to get to Wahala. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, his son is my very good friend. You did my yeah. very good friend. Yeah. So, but there's this movie. What's the? Is it the tyrant? Uh, or tyrant? Tyrant. Uh, tyrant. The, the, the producer, at least he tried. He said, "Please don't play. We want you because you're going to play a, a, a tyrant, a police officer who's a tyrant in the village. So you have to script your beard. You refuse to say that you're not. I want you to play me. And then uh, because he's a faceless manager." That kind of movie, people will just manage to watch it because of the figure, but it cannot get out of the show of this country. The policeman with the hair, when it's not a CID. The US call, call people like that cover cops. It's not a cover cops. Not a cover cops. So, so how can you leave your beer that way? But he managed it because it's a face. Bullshit. If he doesn't want to consent to that, get someone else. How yes, you get some stars to play around, but we're talking about principal characters because these are the, the drivers of that movie. 
Return to the scene, you've seen them. Return to the scene, you've seen them. They almost have that figure. They almost have that looks. Let's get her from this being starstruck. That is what is killing Hollywood. We think flooding our movies with all the stars, it's killing it. Because those stars, they will not want to put in much effort. When you bring up characters who are hungry to become stars, you see them going extra miles to see the interpreting. And the characters, the, 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 the artistic director try to put them to shape. Come for it, as you see them there because they are hungry to become stars. Look at um, Super Ego. In 1996, Atlanta, that they won the world. Did you see how their bones cheap? You see them looking hungry. You know that these people are Jepako, they are not even from rich home. These people are so desirous to win. You see them looking horrible and rugged and tattered. And there's, there's this desperation in their play. But today, what do we have in, 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 in Super Ego? You, you don't have 10 million, you cannot play in Super Ego. Right now. If you go, all the players in Super Eagle are Jepotters. How can they ever win? Hey, but it doesn't make sense. We're killing the sector by day. But it's time Nollywood should sit up. Nollywood has come a long way. We're known around the world, but let's be known for good. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> it's painful, it's painful because I'm part of now, it's painful. It's painful. Sometimes I sit, I want to weep, I'm like, I don't understand it. Okay. Please, artists, let me advise you, those who are here, going to read. Our papa said something like that, very important, going to read. Be a reader. Do you know why? When you read a lot, accompanied with your dictionary, you'll be used to words. It will help you artistically. It will help you artistically. Be a good reader. So that even when you come on set and the director are like, okay, um, even you sometimes, if you want to contribute into a standard you know, write-up, like you come on set and you see the script of a producer, and it's not really giving you the picture of what you really want to. Perhaps you're playing um, the role of um, a, a lawyer, a legal practitioner. And then you see the script. There's this movie called The Code. With the Premier League in South Africa, The Code. I directed it. Now, they brought the script to me, and I looked at it. It's great because it was all legal. The story was a legal story about barristers, lawyers, fuckers between barristers. And you know the legal terms they will be using. They gave me the scripts just like two markets or any other boys they talk. Like, I don't understand. These people are supposed to be lawyers. As when I should, yeah, we are shooting next week. I said, my brother postponed the shooting until next month. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, he was always arguing with me. Ungozibas is a lawyer who is a customer. He said, listen to Sir Jackson. I said, well, wow, if you really wanted to be to do it. I read the whole story. Nice concept, but stupid. Not stupid. Um, write up like um, scripting and all that. So I started re-scripting everything from beginning to end. Legal terms. Legal terms. So you as an actor, if you're good in reading, you'll be able to have those little tricks. If you're good in reading, you have this little tricks. Sometimes when you get a script, you can even contribute to the writing. Because you're an actor. Now, you personally, you're trying to take Nollywood artistically to the next level. So it's together we can make it work. Because sometimes producers for Nollywood, they're ahead. Not even want no one to enter, so you can help them out. You can bring a suggestion. For example, they could call one of you to be the production manager. You can bring all these things out. See the producer, because most of these producers, they just hit one money, they want to produce, they don't know anything about technical things or artistic things. You can see them down like a guy. So read, 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 very important. Then workshop. Once in a while, uh, but anyway, let's not talk much about it because workshop is out of the filming. We're talking about in filmmaking, how can you take it to the next level? But in, in Nollywood as a whole, workshop is very important. You should get people who are sound in these technicalities to train artists. Let them have photo for training artists. Artists of different division from diff of different departments, artists of different categories, and train them. It's important. Whether you're shooting a movie, whether you're not shooting a movie, there should be an ongoing training in Hollywood. 
AGN should be able to pro provide this thing. For example, because AGN is all about the guild that guides actors. Actors guild of Nigeria. So that's what they should be doing. And they're not doing it. should create a forum for training actors. You have the A, the B, the C category. Okay? You train them. Keep training them. Until they become better. That's what you then learn about all discipline. But I think I touched a little bit of discipline from when I was talking about, you know, working in yourself. Be disciplined. As an actor, you mind the things you eat. You mind where you go. You mind how you dress, how you look. Very important because as an actor, you have to be unique in all ramification. Except you are asked to play a certain role. But the truth is uniqueness is in all round. If you're used to uniqueness and the positive side, then when you're given a character to interpret, you learn how to be unique in interpreting it. Uniqueness is spiritual. It cuts across. It's just like when you're obedient, anywhere you go, it follows you. If you are unique in you always want to look good, always want to look outstanding. But when you want to interpret a role, that uniqueness will display itself there. You will interpret that role uniquely. <coughs> that never any artist had ever interpreted before. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Much. Oh, oh, come on. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Namaste. Gracias. Gracias. Any questions? Any questions? Nobody says anything about it. B does it, nobody says anything about it, then I want to do it. If anybody says about it, then it becomes an issue. Yeah. Look at it right here. Michael Jackson says, if you want to make the world a better place, take so a look at yourself, how to make a change. Now look at it right here. It's not far. If someone sets a pace, thank God the world is watching how to speak Africa. All right? So when a standard should have been, you see the standard has been set on board. All producers and directors will watch it. Then when most of you, after the movie, and I know it's going to work out, you start going places, you have a fundamental training here. And then when you visit any sets and are like, okay, this, and you like, director, excuse me, this, this, 
this, this, this, this. Why not? Now, number one, they look at you in two dimensions. One, oh, he's already known. Two, from a platform of Archive Africa where they had a detailed training. You see, we want to listen to you. Why? Because of the background and your discipline. So, for you to persevere to make it work and have a stampede on that technical know-how, one, you must know <coughs> yourself on where you're coming from, and then you must develop a big skill because the ready people will fight hard at this. They will fight you, all right? But you know what you want, stay on your ground, and then make it a continuity. Not just do it and stop. And don't do it because other people do it. Do it because you know this is what the craft entails. Are you understanding? Yeah. Have I answered the question well? The first question. Now, no, what is narrative? How do you do What do you do differently? What do you do differently is start doing it. The only thing you're going to do differently is start doing it. For example, now you want to shoot the film. On your part, start shooting the film. Side up, I think, uh, when Side up, I started shooting the film. Side of was one of the producer directors who started spending money. I, I, I couldn't follow my accompanies and let me say in the local Nollywood, there was one producer who started spending so much to produce a film. Initially, people were like, oh, he's spending so much. They, 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 they discouraged him, but because he's got his international market. Don't forget where he came from, from yeah. the US. So he doesn't want to care about what has been trending in Nigeria. He just took the bull by the horn, he took a risk. Now it's paying off. So, another word must be a risk taker. Take a risk. Because people will come against you, people will discourage you, but it's not a pay off later. But it will change. One thing about change, change is constant. Yes. But it's a gradual process. How? Hey, you do have more. Okay, we will try. You do have again. Before you know it becomes a norm. The reason Nollywood is dilapidated to this extent was it was retrogressing. Because the people who started filmmaking, Ogunde and all that, they were shooting standard films. They were not who came when Illitress and, and Igbo marketers came in. I'm sorry, those who are Igbo's here. But when they <laughs> came into the business, they brought in their, their quarterism into it. So it started declining gradually. If it were declining gradually and somebody came up again to bring it up to standard, it would have been wavering. Maybe here, there, there, here. But it took. 10 steps, it's 100 steps backward so far. Now, a few people coming up now, it's like picking up the pieces, taking it back. And on the process of you trying to take up something, broken bottle, you're trying to pick them up, what's going to happen? It'll be piercing, blood will be flowing out. But if you just endure, you will put them together. So, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yes. 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 Okay, uh, thank you very much. So I want to ask you a direct question. As a, as a director, do you go for every audition, every script you are given the audition, if they put the audition, do you go for it? Mm -hmm. um, as a director, I think because I understand what artistic director is supposed to do. And I understand because sometimes a director could be an embodiment of all this, both cast director, Cast directing, line directing, artistic directing. Sometimes a director can have all these things. Like even me, I'm good in costume. I understand what interpretation of costume is to the background. I understand makeup. Like a director is an interpreter of a story from the script to screen. A complete director. So you should be able to know all these things. But for you not to be over leveraged, you allow. But what we have in Hollywood, my brother, some people cannot speak good English and they are directors of the film. You know what I'm saying? Go to a server. You <laughs> run back. You can't even speak English. You are directors. What was that? Lansinoa. 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 Most of them, they don't know how to speak English. And they're directors. So tell me what is going to impact you. Well, I have a war because of, um, you know, so if they call me, oh, comfort, I, I'll go because I know I'm going to contribute the whole lot. If, if you are not there, uh, they told you about maybe they told you that you're going to direct a script and you are not opportune to come for the audition and they don't have the code. <coughs> I'm going to direct the movie. If there is no professional cast director, then they have to postpone the audition. What if the cast director is around and you are the artistic director and you are not around? And the cast you the technical, are you talking about me? Am I the technical or the, the artistic director? The artistic director, and they have cast the director already, but you are not around. My cast, my, my job is not during the audition. The job of during the cast.
test, it should be a test mm -hmm. regimen. Alright, mm -hmm. technical green shooting, and you don't like what they have cast, like what they have cast. So then you should be the professional answer. Yes. Huh? But if I am not sure of their technical prowess, then I have to be there and have to postpone the audition until I'm present. I'm, I'm so principled about that. Except I, 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 I those people who are going to be the cast directors are trusted and tested. Alright? Yes, go on. Please, you said something about the ABC, um, yes. the A accessibility, I didn't get the B. Yeah, accessibility, you know, was driving into the circumference of filmmaking, into the understanding, in other words, a position of the understanding. I know the B, the acronym for the B. Yeah. The B, I got the accessibility, I didn't get the B. I, I, yeah, the, the B, the B means, um, what was it? I said something about B. Yeah, yeah I, I can't basically think it's the background or... No, 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 not yeah. background. I said something about the A, B. It just came up. So, yeah. I, ju I just came up. So, there's supposed to be right. I was writing, I got the I was supposed to be right. Because even I sometimes, I did not write all these things. So, it's just this few words. Even I just give some points. But I'm saying all these things, they're coming in. So, that's why I say acting is what? Spiritual. Spiritual. What? They're coming in. All right? But don't worry, it's going to come. It's going to come. You're all Come on. Any other questions? No, sir. Good. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I have to appreciate you guys for the patience you have and uh, and the appreciation you have right now. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, sir. Love you. Okay, okay, okay. Now the second general we have. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be called the general. I think, I think, I think we will need um, a, cert a certificate for this training because this is more than. Yes. Yeah, this is more than. Yeah. Yeah. This is more than. This is more than. We pass through Sir Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. That's it from. <laughs> Please, I need a certificate. Please, 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 please,